Good morning. Today I am going to explain the applications of gas law. This is one of the important topic in electric charges and fields. Here, expression for intensity of electric field due to infinite sheet of charge and that too it is a non-conducting. So here our aim is we have to calculate the intensity of electric field due to infinite non-conducting sheet of charge. So for that purpose, let us consider a infinite sheet of charge and this is a thin sheet and this is non-conducting sheet so here our aim is we have to calculate the intensity of electric field at a point p1 and at a point p2 now imagine the point p1 is one side of the uh, this sheet and the point p2 is the another side of this sheet and imagine this from the center to the point p1 the distance is r and these two uh, points are symmetrical to each other and next we have to consider or imagine that the, uh, there is a cylinder uh, that is uh, from P1 to P2. So here we know that at points P1 and at point P2 the electric field and the uh, area, area these two are parallel. Okay, We can uh, imagine this position. Here at this position the electric field and area is perpendicular so we know that cos 90 degrees is 0 so at this position the intensity of the electric field is 0 but the intensity of the electric field at both the caps will be maximum so our aim is we have to calculate the intensity of the electric field at both the caps of this symmetrical points Next, for that, let us consider a non-conducting infinite sheet of charge. Let us consider a point P1 is at a distance of R on one side. So, just now I told you that is, let us consider a non-conducting infinite sheet of charge and a point P1 which is at a distance of R, okay, and one side of the sheet and P2 is the another point which is another side of the sheet, okay. Now, here, imagine these P1 and P2 are symmetrical points okay next imagine a cylinder from p1 to p2 so from p1 to p2 we have to imagine a cylinder okay and we will just imagine let us consider a a is the area of cross section of this one this cylinder and rho be the charge density so we can write charge density is nothing but yeah, it's a ratio between the uh, charge by area now the electric flux through the cylinder so uh, we have to calculate the electric flux through the cylinder will be equal to the electric flux due to the two caps so already to, i told you that is electric flux at this position will be zero but electric flux through these two caps will be maximum so that's why we have to calculate the electric flux through these two caps so we know that the definition for the electric flux is can be written it is a product of intensity of the electric field and area so both the caps so that's why first cap uh, electric field uh, electric flux of through the first cap is ea and for the second cap is ea then the electric flux from both the caps is can be written as 2 ea now let us take this is equation number one now we know that the charge is equal to the rho into area or uh, you can consider that is the charge density into area so q is equal to rho into a so let us take that is equation number two now we have to consider the Gas law. Now, according to the gas law, that is phi E is equal to Q by epsilon naught. We know this one. Now, from this equation 1 and 2, we can substitute the value of phi E value and Q value into this ga gas law. Then we will get 2 E A is equal to rho into A by epsilon naught. So, A A get cancelled. Then we will get E is equal to rho by 2 epsilon naught newtons per coulomb. Here, from this equation, we concluded that the intensity of the electric field is independent of the distance. So, there is no distance in this equation. So, this is independent of distance and the electric field E is same on either side of the sheets. Okay. Thank you. For more videos, subscribe my channel Physics.